Greetings everyone, this is Dangan here with episode 32 of my survival series. Um, as always, this is a world tour style. I will not be doing random mining and stuff, but I did recently do a very lucrative nether run. For nearly five stacks of glowstone, I tore down all the rails that I wasn't using. Found some armor in a chest. <laughs> And I'm currently escaping in my normal route where all my portals are at and organized right up here. And let's ender pearl this last staircase. <laughs> I finally got a silk touch pick to get all that glowstone. I've been waiting forever to get it. We'll go to this first. Um, this is where most of the progress has been. It's been a while since I recorded on this world and achievement get and I haven't done a crazy amount since then but I did do a lot in here um, we'll put the armor in there because that's where it belongs actually and tools I want both of these actually but I have been working on a storage area for all my storage goods needs and here's all my ores and stuff and this is where I'll put the rails um, I'm going to be needing these rails soon which is another reason why I went in the nether to get these as well as the glowstone um, if you know where my village is the one I have colonized it's way out way out that direction and I want to connect that with the rail in the overworld so I could tell uh, transport villagers over to Seinfields so I could have a villager farm I could have an iron farm and complete those two farms even more actually this is the wrong chest sandstone doesn't go in there either they are both going here but yeah, so I want to get some villages going. I want to complete more farms in Seinfeld. That's the whole goal of it, is to get as many farms as possible. Actually, not as many, but actually all farms possible within the domain of Seinfeld's, which you'll see in a few seconds once I throw all my stuff away and you get a look at a few going goings-ons that I have. But I did make this huge lake at the bottom of the ravine. Um, the source boxes are only on top. You can see it through that glass there. This is gonna this will be a storage minecart system. I did work on a model in my redstone world, but haven't actually implemented it in, in yet. And Ender Chest kind of make me weary of even doing it. Though Ender Chest Personally, the only reason I would use it would be to store minecarts at each end of tracks. So when you ent when you go to one end of the track, you enter the ender chest, get a minecart, ride the track, and then put the minecart back in the ender chest on the opposite end. And then whenever you start on the track, you have a minecart ready to go in an ender chest. So that's what I would probably use it mostly for, just because I feel like it's the easiest way to use it. Uh, I mean, uh, I feel it's way overpowered as an item, and I feel like that would be the best way to use it that won't abuse its power, so to speak. But, who knows, my opinion might change in coming months. I mean, when 1.8 first came out, you might remember me hating that update very, very much. And, actually 1.3 so far, is looking really really cool I'm really really excited for that update still not coming but they're working on bug fixes and stuff that are very important and I'll respect that and wait patiently for it but more on topic this is Seinfeld's this is the sheep I had to trap because it fell down from its post up there for some reason I don't know maybe a zombie pushed it over but I do have many farms in here like my iron blocked wheat farm and pumpkin melons a bunch of automatic farms even obsidian generators and cobble generators um, what I want to add in the near future is 
redo the hostile mob system since the caves all around here are mostly lit up and this hostile system is very very poor <laughs> and I want to get that going I need more hostile mobs I do have a skeleton farm through those doors and I did find while caving oh oh go around please where is this yeah, it's right by the monument in the first 25 subscribers. Right here. Straight down is a spider spawner. A normal one. And I want to hook that up. And attach it to Seinfeld's 2 for a spider farm. We have a skeleton farm. of a hostile mob farm. And soon I'll also want to add some passive mob farms. Not quite sure where to put it. I do have a chicken farm here. Actually, it's not a chicken farm yet it's only eggs but may I want to redo this and then add the pig sheep and other things into this farm system I'll also want to add squid soon but they require special special spawning rules which I'll go over in the next episode of school of dot spoiler alert but I want to add squid in here too because this is for every single possible farm in Minecraft. That was the goal and I want to make it better. I want to like improve the cactus farm, make the reed farm slightly better because you'll lose reeds in this system. And yeah, just add everything. Um, not quite add another full stack of books yet. I've been turning on the books because They'll require leather soon, and you don't want to waste it. And books with quills require like a book, an ink sack, and a feather. So it's important to get going now. And so that's my plans. And mostly I've been caving. That's how I found this spider spawner is actually semi close to some cave spiders. So I could maybe get some cave spider systems going down there too. And I just want to increase this, make room, fill it out. Um, I'm even thinking of adding a sand generator in here just because it is a type of farm technically, even if it is cheaty. I probably wouldn't use it because I actually like grinding out deserts for sand. It's kind of relaxing and I could watch videos at the same time while paying more attention to the videos than something like PvP where I'll have to pay more attention to that than a video but sand grinding is pretty fun for me actually like pretty relaxing and speaking of sand grinding that was another idea for future plans if you're new to my channel this over here is my haul of subscribers where I have signs for all my subscribers and please land dang it there we go oh nope oh there we go but yes I have a, all these signs for every one of my subscribers and I'm been getting some new ones and I'm quite enjoying this um why is that blink I have no clue we're at this year we reached 100 and we're at 135 now which is quite exciting for me I'm quite happy about that and we're approaching 150 <clears throat> whoa that came out really high pitched 64 Nintendo Man is my most decent but thank you for everybody who subscribed recently I really appreciate it and this is the only, this is the way that I know how to show that appreciation and I've been thinking about also between building farms and building aesthetically working on this place some more I was thinking about maybe making these walkways not quite so boldly mossy cobbled even though all my mossy will be donated to here for future expansions and such this is the desert I ripped down and if I could show that, that would be cool. Nope. My armor is nearly worn out. I won't. I will not go with diamond armor again, just because it's kind of a waste. 
but I do like feather falling boots with some durability on it. So I probably will use that for diamonds. Just the boots though. This is the desert I tear down. Um, what's this? Efficiency? And I just like to relax just like this and collect stuff and I believe I have some yes here we go some chests that I moved actually I would like these signs elsewhere Ooh, this train's getting annoying but these signs will be donated to the place some supplies for a cake more mossy is here I will gladly refill on those. But I am waiting for 1.3 to come out because I also want to go mushroom biome hunting. If a mist is at all correct, the nearest mushroom island is actually straight that direction and then turn left and go that direction and I should run into a plains biome uh a village in a plains biome. This is why I like sand fields. There's no rain, but um, so I like, is like a close coastal plains biome village with a mushroom island off the coast, a few hundred blocks off the coast, and I wanted I wanted to explore that <laughs> both now, but I want to wait for 1.3 at the same time for the emeralds to reach to. What's it called? There's actually a brown sheep down there. Double task, I guess, would be the term to get both emerald ores and because I have to generate new chunks and this world is quite big already and I don't want to make it any bigger unnecessarily so I will double task and have two meanings to explore out that direction. And yes, I want to explore that, finish up Seinfeld some more. I will need to get some cocoa farms soon. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's all that's really happening on this world in particular. And I just like to thank you for being a part of my channel. It does mean a lot. And thank you for all all your support and all your comments. I really enjoy it, and I hope you continue to enjoy my content. As oh, it's still raining. As time goes on, and if you have any suggestions for this world, I would be more than happy to hear it. Yeah, I like suggestions. Um, I've been working on a little bit on Rainbow Road, kind of. Just some sheep breeding pens make my job easier. And then some villager breeding pens in the village. But... Oh, I guess I could still touch some grass now. Actually, right here. Oh well, but this was a little bit of a short episode, I'm sorry about that if you're hoping for a longer one, if not then you got what you wanted, and I will see you next time. Actually before I go, I do want to do something a little special in this world, I showed you when I very first made an enchanting table. The first one on this world, and I want to now show you the very first brewing stand on this world. There we go. It's hoping for an achievement, but this is the first brewing stand in my survival world. <laughs> Time to get the potions on. <laughs>